How to make bullet holes the easy way in Godot. Here we have a scene with a wall where we'll be demonstrating this tutorial. This isn't really important, but feel free to copy it if you want. We're going to add a camera node to the scene and move it back just a little bit. If you click on the camera preview, you'll see the wall from the camera's perspective. Just imagine that this camera is the camera you've got on your first person or third person character controller. Watch my video on FPS controllers if you don't know how to make one. Right click on the camera node and add a ray cast as a child. Set its cast to 0 on the Y axis and whatever negative amount you want on the Z axis. I went with negative 20. Check the box to enable the ray cast. Next we need to create the bullet hole. Create a new empty scene and add a spatial node. I'm going to call it bullet decal because you can think of the bullet holes like stickers that you can pop onto any surface in your game. Right click on bullet decal and add a mesh instance node as a child. In the inspector, give it a new quad mesh. Under the material tab, click on empty and add a new spatial material. Click on the preview window and under albedo, give it a nice dark color so it'll be easy to see on a wall. Hit the back arrow and under transform, rotate it 180 degrees on the Y axis so that it disappears. Don't worry, it's still there, it's just visible from the other side now. Under translation, move the mesh forward a tiny amount by setting its Z value to minus 0.02. If you don't do this, sometimes the bullet hole will spawn slightly inside of a surface and you won't be able to see it. Back in the testing scene, click on the main node and add a script. Call it whatever you want. First, we're going to create a reference to our raycast node by writing on ready var raycast equals dollar sign camera slash raycast. We'll also create a reference to the bullet hole decal by writing on ready var b underscore decal equals preload and the path to your bullet decal scene. To get the path, just navigate to the bullet decal scene in your project folders, right click on it, and select copy path from the pull down menu. Next, write func underscore process delta, then go to project and project settings and in the input map tab, make sure you have a key binding called fire. If you don't, go ahead and make one now. Back in the script, under process, write if input dot is action just press fire, var b equals b decal dot instance. This prepares the bullet hole to appear in the game. Then write raycast dot get collider dot add child b. And this adds an instance of the bullet decal into the game world as a child of whatever the camera raycast is colliding with. Then we need to move the bullet decal to the point where the raycast collided by writing b.globaltransform.origin equals raycast.getcollisionpoint. If you run the game and press the fire button, nothing will appear to happen because even though the bullet hole is there, it isn't oriented properly so you can't see it. We need to make the bullet hole to lay flat on whatever surface it happens to be on. To do that, go back to the script and write b.lookat raycast.getcollisionpoint plus raycast.getcollisionnormal vector3.up. What we're doing is we're taking the location of the raycast collision and adding it to the normal of the colliding surface, which is just a small arrow that points in the direction that the surface is pointing. Adding these together gives you a spot that is a tiny distance away from the wall. Then we tell the bullet hole to rotate itself so that it's looking at this spot, which results in the bullet hole aligning with the surface it's on. Now when you run the game, when you press fire, the bullet decal appears on the wall, and no matter the angle of the wall, the bullet decal will lay flat on it. And that's the basics of bullet holes and decals, but we can continue to refine things a little more. In the bullet decal scene, we can change the size of the quad mesh so it isn't so big. Another thing to consider is that when the bullet decal appears in-game, it will actually leave a shadow on whatever surface it's on, though you have to look very closely to see it. You can disable shadows by clicking on the Geometry tab and setting Cast Shadow to Off. Also, you probably don't want the bullet hole to look like a black square. To change this, you'll have to create a bullet hole texture with a transparent background in a separate drawing program, or download this free one that I made by following the link below. Then import it into your project, and then in the Spatial Material Properties for the Mesh, under Albi, drag the bullet hole texture into the texture box, go to the flags tab and enable transparent so that the edges become transparent, and now you have a more realistic looking bullet hole. Also, if you don't want the bullet hole to stick around forever, go to the bullet decal scene, add a timer, enable one shot and auto start, and set its wait time to something like 2 seconds. Then create a script on the main node, click on the timer node, click on the node tab at the top right, right click on timeout, click connect, and connect again, and in the new function that appears in the script, write Q free. Now when you shoot, the bullet holes will disappear after a few seconds. Thanks for watching, links to my discord, twitter, and computer setup down below, like, subscribe, bell, and as always, have a nice day.